This is Mary at the Mary Atelier, and I am working on a pick 10 that I did with Lisa at My Eclectic Life last Monday night. And I really enjoyed doing this pick 10 because she does it a little bit differently. She gives a word, and we respond with an art prompt. Like she gave the word warm for the first prompt, and we chose the colors red and yellow. So I'm painting my page background a red and a yellow. So while I'm waiting for the next prompt, we wait till everybody's done before we move on. And I'm okay with that. I just go ahead and work in my art journal. I'm getting my June pages ready to go. I like to do ATCs in right in my art journal and i am just mapping out planning out where they will go i usually do four of them at a time when i art them in and i'm just drawing in where they should be i usually do uh eight pages four on a page and uh, yeah i'm just drawing out where they should be and i will do this while i'm waiting for a prompt i just go do some other art, you get a lot done that way. As long as you're sitting at your desk doing art, rather than sitting there twiddling your fingers, might as well just go to some other art. Okay, so we're getting ready for the second prompt. Uh, she's going to give the word here in a minute. She's getting ready to give it. And the word is, she's checking to make sure everybody's ready. The word is wish. And we gave several different art prompts for that. I chose the prompt stars. And one of my favorite motifs is what I call my three dancing stars. And you'll see that a lot in my work. That big star kind of has a wonky arm, but I work with it until I eventually get it right. Or at least presentable. <laughs> so, yeah, I... Dry it off, and I think I, yeah, I do. I go in, and I use my marker to draw an outline around that, and that shapes them up. I'm really happy with them. My three dancing stars. We're ready for the next prompt, and it's the word five. And I chose a quote with five words in it. I pulled it out of the little song twinkle twinkle little star and then i chose the words i wonder what you are it just fits on this page it really does fit i just block them in with big letters color them in i am using a dark blue dry erase marker i bought some just to experiment with i was a little bit worried they'd wipe off of the page but i put so much other media over them that it's fine i don't have any problem with them I think I eventually paint them out. So we're ready for prompt four. And let's see, I think she's going to give it here in a second. It's the word joy. And the prompt, one, one of the prompts was music. And so I just start drawing music notes in the background. They eventually get all painted out or covered up. But I just say I have music playing in the background. I go in here and I finish drawing out my ATCs. By the way, if you hear any background noise, I've recorded this more than once. If you hear any background noise, I have the doors open. We have trains going by, birds singing, uh, doors opening, closing. You'll hear outside noises. But I think I moved to a quiet spot where I can get this recorded. Uh, the next prompt I didn't like it so I use the alternate of dots and dashes I'm back to working in my art journal I think my dots and dashes kind of fade into the background too yeah I do eight pages of these <laughs> I'm numbering them so I know which four I'm working on and I think I'm all done doing that shaping up my art journals getting ready to bind them when I get the cover finished so we're ready for which prompt? 
Uh, prompt six, I think, is coming up. Prompt six is the word blanket. And I tried, somebody gave the prompt fringe. I tried to put fringe in my stars. I didn't like it, so I went to an alternate of circles. I didn't like those either. And I heard Lisa say that she was going to take a napkin and blanket her page with a, a white napkin. And I really liked that idea. So I have this napkin with a blue background with white dots on it. And so I decided to use that. And I like, I like the effect. I like what's happening here. And I just tear off the floral border. And uh, I really like it. I, it pushes everything into the background. And the foreground is something that I can continue working on. So, yeah, I like what's happening on this page now. Ready for the seventh prompt. And I'm not sure what the prompt was. I can't read my word that I wrote down there. I'm going to have to write them a little bit plainer when I write them down. Uh, I, so I can read them when I do a voiceover. But I get out my white fine line paint applicator and I outline all my words. I was going to put some star shine around there, but it was too convoluted. So I just did the outlining. I dry that off a little. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. Now, I think when we get to the eighth prompt here, I get a little rebellious. Shh, I get a little rebellious. I want the word, the the word was box, and I wanted a wild card, and I, I gave wild card, but she chose something else, and uh, you ignored my <laughs> wild card prompt, so I got rebellious, and I think somebody, I was, posting I want wild card <laughs> somebody said Mary go do your gold so I did and I wanted to paint my words in in gold that's why I wanted my wild card so I did anyway <laughs> and that's what I want to say if you're working on this and the prompt doesn't fit what you're doing at the time there are no prompt police in these games you go do what works on your page and this is what worked on my page at this time. Now I'm just outlining those words again with my white fine line paint applicator. <coughs> I'm liking what's happening. I My rebellion pays off sometimes. So when we're ready for the next prompt, since she did not pick my wild card, <laughs> I want it again. I said, I'm going to give the wild card again. And uh, I I don't know what the word prompt was. I think it was peace. I go, what am I going to do for peace? Give me a wild card. Give me a wild card. And I kept posting that. And so finally, she wanted to use the word, the art prompts that was given for peace. So I said, okay, Mary, I'll go make it an alternate. So why I wanted the wild card is that I want to put children's faces on these stars. And so I'm getting out some magazines that I can cut out some children's faces. I mean, yes, these stars were just calling for children's faces to be put on there. The upper left-hand star has two young children on it. They're the full-length bodies. But, yeah, I, I just, like I say, sometimes your rebellion pays off. We go to the 10th the prompt, which is the word strength. And uh, before I do that, I go ahead and um, put stars around my children's faces and color them in blue so that they'll pop. <clears throat> For the word strength, I cut out a blue denim star. And uh, one of the prompts was metal, art prompts was metal. For the word strength, so I put my blue denim star on with a bobby pin. Outline it with my fine line paint applicator. So I had a lot of fun doing this. So thank you, Lisa, for the prompt game, and I will see you on the next page.